It's the dive that welcomes people of all ages, provided you don't mind getting wet. Great spot. The dive bar and restaurant is not on the shores of Lake Winnipesaukee. It is on the lake, perched on a sandbar at Smalls Cove in West Alton Bay. You got your few restaurants around the water, but uh, nothing like this. <laughs> Jamie Merriam grew up in the lakes region and has a background in building, commercial boating, and running restaurants. He got the idea of the dive last summer while he was out boating with his fiance, Betsy. And we came into this channel and I saw this barge and it just hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm like, that's it, that's what I need. And um, she ended up calling up the company that owned it and asked if we can buy it. And um, they said yes and they gave us a very reasonable price. And I just started working, I started welding every day. I just started putting things together. It took Jamie a year to build Betsy was instantly on board. He is a visionary for sure. <laughs> um, and he's a great graphic designer, so I could, he, he drew exactly what he built. White with red sails, the dive is 2,400 square feet with two floors. On the first floor is, well, I guess you'd call this the front door. Shirt and shoes, optional. There is also the kitchen where the cooks whip up the dive dog. Our dive dog is uh, it's 100% beef. It has uh, two different types of cheese, uh, queso cheese and uh, Velveeta cheese. The menu also includes sandwiches, salads and fries, and the food is available for takeout. There is a dive through window, get it? Or you can just take it back to your boat. Just be careful not to drop it. From the signature dog to the signature drink, Paradive Punch. We have Cruzan rum, mango, black cherry, and coconut, all three rums, pineapple juice, and a splash of cranberry. Do you need a paradise? <laughs> the goal is for the dive to eventually travel to different sandbars on Lake Winnipesaukee, but for now it is staying in Alton Bay. Jamie picks up his staff at the West Alton Bay Marina, located nearby. Jamie also keeps a freezer at the marina. There's not a lot of storage on the boat. And that first weekend it opened, the dive was so busy, it ran out of food. First weekend we were nervous, but the cheers and the people were here and they were excited and um, it was crazy. It was actually really busy. <laughs> The vertical sign is a modern take on a vintage look. Growing up near Ware's Beach, they wanted something that resembled a piece of the past. We were trying to come up with something unique. Uh, he had the idea from Sawyer's and also the Weir's Beach sign. You know, it was kind of a retro look, which I really liked, and the red and white was, you know, nautical for diving. People really think that this is a little bit of the, uh, you know, the Key West kind of thing we brought up here on the lake. Look at the dive! Yeah. Woo! From the brand new to the tried and true. Chibli's on the pier at Lake Winnipesaukee in Alton Bay has been a mainstay for more than 25 years, located on the busy Mount Major Highway. Chablis is one of the very few lakeside spots that only shuts down November and December. It's as popular in the winter as it is in the summer. And they're lined up at the door when we open up in mid-January. A lot of our customers are just our friends. We've known them forever. David and Amy Shibley bought the restaurant in 1993 the early 19th century building has had a long history on the lake. It was first built as a single dock. I think it goes all the way back to the 1900s, and uh, early 1900s, obviously. And it was a gas station and gift shop, and I think they sold food. And then as it moved on through history, it became a restaurant. You can motor your way to Shibley's, or paddle, or land, and enjoy an outdoor waterfront view. Shibley's outdoor deck is more than 50 feet of space right on the water. Or during the winter, you can arrive by snowmobile or plane, land at the nearby Alton Bay seaplane and ice runway. Get, uh, if Mother Nature treats us right, we get, oh, 
50, 60 planes can come in on a day. Uh, there's a whole crew out here that keeps it plowed. This area all through here is a uh, big, I guess, parking area for all the airplanes, and um, it's really a sight to see, yeah. Shibley's is open every day for lunch and dinner. It serves up plenty of seafood, sandwiches, homemade potato chips, and onion rings. Co-owner Amy Shibley says the staff is just like family. They're, they're just good workers. They watch out for Dave and I. They're, they're just, um, they work really hard. And they, thankfully, they come back every single year. Sandy Ware Pluin has worked here for 25 years. I do have some regular customers that come in. The nice thing is you remember what they drink and you have it on the table before they walk in the door and they really appreciate that stuff. Shibley's interior looks like a lake house, comfortable and warm. Old photos adorn the walls. This replica of the MS Mount Washington is displayed at the front of the dining room. This antique ice chest sits behind the bar, a reminder of this pier's rich past and Alton history, when Shibley's was known as Victoria Pier, welcoming tourists with a hot meal and a boat ride. Now Dave and Amy Shibley carry on the tradition, offering food and drink with a beautiful view. <laughs> Even in the winter, the view is pretty cool. Come by boat, snowmobile, plane, hovercraft, helicopters, it's you name it, jet skis. Uh, I think we have Every means of travel has actually come in this way before. A lot of it's home for a lot of people.